morning class, my name is Nhi Quan and today I'm going to talk about global warming. Global warming is increasing the Earth's average surface temperature due to the release of greenhouse gases. It is one of, ma it is one of the major problems that scientists are concerned about because of its negative effects on the temperature, ice and land. Greenhouse gases from electricity, factories, transportation, and agriculture trap heat and make the planet warmer. Scientists predict that by the year of 2100, the global temperature are expected to increase by 2 degrees to 11.5 degrees. Even though that people still can survive if the temperature goes up to 120, 130, or even 140, even though such hot weather does not kill us, but a small change in temperature will lead to the dangerous change in weather pattern. And what our next generation, our children, grandchildren may suffer in the future could be even more than that. In addition, not only the atmosphere, but the ocean also absorbs the heat. The truth is that the ocean has absorbed the heat about 20 times as much as the atmosphere over the past half century. More heat is going into the ocean, and the temperature of the ocean is increasing by 0 0.18 degree, occurring from the surface to a depth of 2,300 feet, where most marine life thrives. This will affect on ecosystem and the food chain. As a result of um, rising temperature, ice and snow start to melt. Many ice areas, especially in the Arctic, are now rapidly thinning and melting. According to NASA research, the Arctic has lost about 40% of its sea ice cover since 1980. And for example, the World Hunt Ice Shell, one of the largest ice blocks of the other world, uh, it's going to split and break completely into small pieces in a couple of years. And in just a few decades, the Arctic will experience ice freeze in the summer. Ice melts and goes into the water. Less ice surface also means that the water will absorb the sunlight instead. Plus, when water heats up its fans, consequently sea levels rise. The sea levels have climbed about 0.1 to 0.2 mm millimeter each year. Rising of sea level also causes flooding and erosion of coastline. 10 million of people are suffering from coastal flooding each year. Such flooding accompanied with hill tides and storms destroy houses, destroy house, hospital, buildings, office. Many people are dying from the flooding. Flooding of coastline and erosion of shorelines are taking away the land. People who live within 30 feet of sea level are at risk of losing their homes so they move away. Moreover, Southern Africa, Southern Asia, and the U.S. Southwest are getting drier. This expansion of dry areas means that we, we are losing yields for agriculture. So that, therefore, people move from dry areas to other places so that they can grow plants and raise animals for food. They also move from coastline to the center of the land. But the problem is that this moving will make many more, many large cities more crowded, and it will be more difficult, more competitive to get jobs. The traffic in those large cities will be heavier, and the cost of living will be higher. <coughs> Perhaps many people think that global warming is just a normal cycle of the Earth. But compared to the last ice age we had, global warming is now happening so fast. The temperature is increasing faster than it was in the past. If people do nothing to stop global warming, or at least slow it down, no one can tell exactly. No one can imagine how fast the next ice age will come again and destroy us. So, in conclusion, 
the evidence of global warming is clear about increasing temperature, losing ice and land, followed by the negative effects on human beings. It is very important to, fly, to find the solutions to decrease the greenhouse gases. This concludes my presentation. Are there any questions?